Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 14. And in this tutorial, I wanna show you guys how to alter or modify a table. So uh, in the previous tutorial, we learned how to create new tables, but in this tutorial, we're just gonna learn how to add stuff to an existing table. Uh, so uh, if you take a look at the users table right now, you'll see that I have an, an ID column, a username column, a password column, and a user email, first name, and last name. So there's only six columns right now, there isn't a seventh, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a seventh column uh, just to show you guys how to alter tables. Uh, so let's go over to the SQL tab here and I'm gonna write in a query. And uh, basically what I wanna do here is type in um, alter table, <laughs> totally forgot that qu uh, query command for a second. So alter table, and then you're gonna wanna put in the name of the table that you wanna alter. So in this case, if I wanted to alter the users table, I'll put in um, the users table name here. And then I need to go ahead and give SQL another command. So if I type in add, this is gonna add something to our table. If I type in drop, we can remove something from our table. And if I type in modify, then we can change something about our table. So uh, it's up to you to depend, to decide which one of these you wanna use. But let's go ahead and use add for now. And uh, I'm gonna add a new row uh, or a new column to our table. So let's create a new column called uh, random column. And uh, one thing that is very, very important that you cannot forget whenever adding a column is you need to specify some constraints. Uh, at the very least, you need to specify a data type. So in this case, I'm going to specify a data type of um, varchar, and we can set that to have a limit of 255 characters. So let's copy this and hit go. And uh, yeah, you can see uh, that this query has run successfully. There was actually a little green line here for like a flash of a second, but now it's gone. Uh, so if you really wanna see your change uh, and if it's taken effect, go over to the users table and just look at the structure and you can see that uh, I have a new column here called random column and it has a varchar data type of 255 characters. It's allowed to be null. And if we take a look at this in the uh, browse tab, you can see that I've got the column here and all of the values within it are set to null. So now's a really good time to point out that null and a blank space are very different from each other. So you can see that um, uh, these values here where there's nothing filled in, those are just blank spaces and this is actually a null value. So there is a difference between null and a blank space, but uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's just um, interesting, I guess, to know. And uh, now that we've created this column, let's go ahead and modify it. So I'm gonna place that exact same query in here, except uh, where I used add, I'm going to use the keyword modify. So make sure that you type that right, otherwise it's not gonna work. And then just put in the column name that you wanna modify. So in this case, let's modify random column because it's the uh, column that I just created. And I can actually change this data type from something like varchar to something like text. I believe in the previous tutorial I said text 1000. I don't actually believe that works like that. You just put in a value of text and um, yeah, that there is no cap. So let's hit go. And uh, yeah, now we can browse the table again. And uh, if we do that, well, actually let's look at the structure, sorry. Uh, you can see that now the random column has a data type of text instead of varchar. Uh, it's still allowed to be null. And um, yeah, well, nothing else has changed really. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you guys wanna modify tables, then that's how you go about doing that. And you can also set these to, I mean, completely different values. So I believe there is a, a value of year or year month. Let's just type it in like that, year. Nope. Aha, uh -huh. no, okay, I have, I've totally figured out my mistake. I said add, let's um, use modify because there's already a column called random column. We don't wanna add it, we wanna modify it. And I think we'll just give it a value of date or a data type of date. And then that'll completely change the um, value of what gets put in here. So now instead of being a, a text or a varchar, it's now a date value and we need to put in a date there. Uh, we can also change 
that value of null or not null by, uh, oops, just close that tab. By jumping back to here and just adding not null as a constraint within our query. Uh, but now that you guys know how to do that, let's take a look at actually removing the column. So instead of add, let's try drop. And whenever we use drop, we don't have to have any of these constraints. We just say alter table drop and then give the column name that we would like to drop. So let's hit go. And that should have now dropped the column. So let's look at our users table. And you can see that we now have an ID, a username, a password, user email, first name and last name. But the uh, random column that we just created is no longer here because I've dropped it. So uh, that is how to alter tables. Uh, if you guys are ever looking to change data types or just add new columns onto your database or drop a column from your database, then that is how you do that. And uh, before I end off this video, I just wanna send a huge shout out to these guys. These guys are my sponsors who contribute about $5 or more on Patreon every single month. And that goes a long way to helping me make more videos more often. So if you like the videos I create and you wanna help me make more, consider becoming a Patreon patron or just uh, subscribe, like, comment, and share this video because that's also going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.